everyone, it's Lottie Newitt here and I'm just out in the garden having a look for some inspiration. It's really hard to know what to put in your garden during the autumn months that will last even into the winter months when things start looking a bit dull, things start falling, everything gets a bit bare. So I'm just going to give you a few ideas to make your autumn garden look fantastic even with all the leaves starting to fall and all the other flowers that are starting to finish. So these are my top few plants for this time of year. You can plant them now, you can find them in your garden centres now quite easily or online. Plant them now, autumn's the best time to get planting and you'll have great colour through the autumn and even through the winter with some of these. So the first one I'm going to start with, this is one of my favourites. This is Sedum Matrona. It's a fantastic flowering plant. I've just taken this stem off. It makes for really good cut flowers so if you want to dress your garden inside as well as the outside this is a great plant to go for this is a perennial so the flowers will die down but not till much later so late autumn even before the frosts start kicking in it will keep going so it will just keep on flowering until you get a really cold snap then it will die down and come back again next spring so that is one of my ultimate favorites it looks fantastic against lots of other plants in the garden one of which Another favourite of mine, which is an all year round favourite of mine, is Euchra. Now, look at this. If I put that together with that flower, look how beautiful that is. So you've got that deep purple with that nice, light and airy, fluffy pink. That's going to look great in your border. Now, the Euchra that I've got here, the variety is Palace Purple. It's stunning. They really come into their own in the autumn Euchra. So it's a fantastic way of getting some colour in your garden for the autumn. But they do last for nine months of the year before they die down, have a little regenerate and then start flowering up in the spring again. So nine months worth of colour with this one. Perfect for your patio pots. Great for your borders. Um, even if you've got hanging baskets, use this right in the middle and it'll look fantastic. It'll be a great statement piece to pop in the middle. So to go with that, let's go for some evergreen shrubs. So now the evergreen shrubs I'm going to show you not only will look fantastic this time of the year, but they will also give you 12 months of cover, colour and coverage. So you can be sure that you don't have to worry about your garden looking fantastic because you're going to have some nice pieces in there. Now these are the key pieces for me. So for a nice large shrub, if you've got a bit of an area to fill, a big space, maybe up to two metres, this Acuba, looking quite small right now, but eventually they can get up to two metres in height maximum if they're really happy in the spot they're in, but it does take a little bit of time to get there. And don't be afraid, you can prune it back and keep it into the size that you want to keep it into as well. You can shape them too if you want to, so make a nice round uh, style bush. Now just have a look at that. If I come in a bit closer, you can see that gorgeous yellow dot on the leaf there. Now this is called a Cuba pepper spot. Fantastic name for a fantastic plant. So you've got this foliage for 12 months of the year, 12 months worth of colour. Really nice plant. Um, grows well in the UK, very low maintenance, you'll be glad to hear. And actually, just to give you a bit more interest, in the late autumn, even into the beginning of winter, sometimes if they are really happy in the position they're in, they will give you beautiful red berries that look glossy, they look fantastic, look very festive, and also fantastic for the wildlife and getting the birds into your garden and keeping them well fed through the winter. So this is a great one to go for. Again, you can put it in your border, or you can put it into a patio pot, a nice big one. So now moving on to our next evergreen shrub. This is beautiful. Now I have just done a DIY video actually, which you will be able to catch in the next couple of days, um, which this is in. So I've just planted it, well placed it actually, cheekily, really simply. I've just placed it inside this pot because I'm only gonna keep it in here for the autumn and then I will be planting it out just before the winter hits into the garden. So this is Euonymus microphilia lovely plant i love the foliage on here again it stays for 12 months of the year and for many years to come really good to mix in with your patio pots for autumn so maybe use it as a centerpiece and then plant some beautiful pansies or violas or primroses around the edge of that and maybe put some bulbs in with it as well because then you'll get early spring flowering before you have to change pots over again for summer but this is really neat and tidy and actually i love it in this terracotta i think it looks a little bit like you know Potage, potage garden, it's very nice, very rustic, but still quite contemporary with that beautiful green foliage. So my third and final evergreen plant that I want to show you is this little beauty. Now this is my ultimate 
favourite. I did have a little splurge. If you see me on Twitter, you will have noticed I did put that I had a bit of a splurge moment in my local garden centre yesterday. Couldn't resist. So this is Hebe Green Globe because it literally looks like a little globe of a green cloud or something. It is gorgeous. It's actually like a mini version of um, Buxus and Pervirens, a lot tinier. Um, actually perfect if you like doing fairy gardens this is a great shrub to go for because it doesn't get too much bigger than it is now you can keep it contained as well so even if it does start spreading out up to 30 centimeters maximum you can trim it back and keep it nice and small and smooth and into a nice round bush but it does tend to keep this round habit itself which is fantastic because it's low maintenance don't have to do too much to it again great if you want to put this in the center of your hanging basket just to add a bit of height and a bit of color and a backdrop for your violas and pan pansies or put it straight in the border or do what I've done. Again, I've literally just dropped it in this beautiful terracotta pot. You'll see it featured in my latest DIY, which will be coming out in the next couple of days. Um, and you can dress your table up with it. Dress your dining table up with it. It looks fantastic, it's cute. It's also a cute little gift as well. Maybe you've got a wedding coming up. Fantastic for doing for that as well. Now my final plant for a bit of autumn color is an indoor plant. Now, this is called Natera. It's a lovely, micro foliage plant which is absolutely covered in these tiny weeny little berries fantastic i love it it's one of my favorites it looks so autumnal really gets you in the uh, in the spirit of things great for halloween and i will be using this in another video um, in the next couple of weeks for my halloween diy to dress up your garden your indoor garden for halloween so make sure you check that out and actually i lied i have got one more plant to show you all so, another late flowering. This is Rudbeckia Goldstrum. Now, this one will flower all the way through the summer, and as you can see, it's quite happily still flowering now. So, beginning of autumn, even into mid autumn, up until we get a, again a real cold snap, then it will die down and come back each year. It's a fantastic perennial, really bright in colour, a bit of sunshine in your border. So, when we do get those dreary days in the summertime or the early autumn, you'll still get that beautiful sunshine feel with this one. So there you go guys, that's just a few ideas of my favourites for this time of year to dress up your garden for the autumn, late summer, early autumn, um, to make sure you've got colour, you've got coverage and even got a few plants in there to keep you going through the winter as well to make sure you've got courage, coverage and colour throughout the whole of the year. So, as I said, I've got another DIY video coming up in the next couple of days. Make sure you keep an eye on my Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. Just find me at Lottie Knew It um, and you will be able to watch my brand new autumn DIY. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed this video.